this one is 3.6 here we have a cantilevered beam on which there is a uniformly distributed load given so in this case uh, we can simply make one cut at this point and analyze that cut now if i take the left part i notice that i will be getting these reactions from this which are not known to us that's why it is easy for us to analyze the right part in this case okay so let's take that right part from this beam and let me draw this uniformly distributed load which is w naught now whenever we make this cut we always make this cut at a distance of x so this distance right here is l minus x so this is also l minus x now when we cut this open at this point we have this side opening up which is a negative phase shear shear force and bending moment will be pointing in in this manner i can draw an equivalent diagram for this so let's draw that beam this is your v and mb now this uniform distributed load can be replaced by a point load by multiplying this and the distance at which this is acting so w naught times l minus x right there so very easy uh, you can see that your v is balancing this force it needs to be minus of w naught l minus x and your mb if i take moment about this point these distances are going to be same so we are going to have w naught l minus x this is the force and the distance is going to be l minus x divided by 2 and since they are in the same sense so this has to be negative so if you simplify this you get v equals to w naught x minus l and your mb value is minus w naught over 2 l minus x or x minus l whole square so these are the values of shear force and bending moment now we can go ahead and plot this this one is for your shear force and this one is for your bending moment now your v is w naught x minus l so we can evaluate this as at x equals to l we have a zero right here and at x equals to zero we have minus w l so it's going to be in this manner so this is how your shear force diagram looks and this value right here is minus w naught l for the bending moment we can plot this parabola now for this we can have two values and one peak peak is where the slope for this curve is going to be zero so value of this at x equals to zero is minus w naught l square divided by two and at x equals to l this is going to be zero so this is happening at x equals to zero and this is at x equals to l and if i take the derivative of this equation you see that at x equals to l also this curve is going to be exactly zero for this so i can have a parabola that has slope at x equals to l equals to zero so i can draw that parabola in this manner right here so this is how your bending moment diagram looks and this value right here is minus w naught l square divided by two so i can highlight the boundaries of these curves so this is your shear force diagram and this one right here is your bending moment diagram